Hi! Welcome to Feel Korean TV Math Corner. In this video, I will show to you the easy way to convert or change decimal numbers and mixed decimals into fractions. Let's take this problem as an example. Change 7500 to fraction in lowest term. The fastest way to write decimals as fractions is to write the number after the decimal point as a numerator and then use the power of 10 as a denominator. The number of digits after the decimal point will tell you how many zeros the denominator must have. When we say power of 10, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, and so on. Okay, let's answer. Let's write 75 as a numerator and then the denominator that we are going to use is 100 because there are two digits after the decimal point let's count one two so that means that we need to use a power of 10 with two zeros and that is 100 next step is to reduce the fraction to lowest term we need to divide the numerator and the denominator by their GCF. So if we are going to get the GCF of 75 and 100, their GCF is 25. Then divide. 75 divided by 25 equals 3. 100 divided by 25 equals 4. So 75 hundredths is 3 fourths in fraction. Let's have another problem. Convert 25 thousandths into fraction. Okay, we will write 25 as a numerator because that is the whole number after the decimal point. Although there are three digits after the decimal point, but we will write the number as a whole number. Since there are three digits after the decimal point, so we will use 1000 as a denominator because the number of digits after the decimal point must be equal to the number of zeros in the denominator. Next step, reduce the fraction to lowest term. Divide the numerator and the denominator by their GCF. The GCF of 25 and 1000 is 25. Okay, let's divide. 25 divided by 25 equals 1. 1,000 divided by 25 equals 40. So the answer is 1 over 40. Next, how to write 5 and 7 tenths in fraction. This time, we will convert mixed decimal into fraction. In this number, 5 is the whole number and 7 is the decimal number. To change this into mixed fraction, we will just write 5 as a whole number and then 7 as a numerator. And we will use 10 as a denominator because there is only one digit after the decimal point. As I've said, the number of digit after the decimal point must be equal to the number of 0 in the denominator. The next step is to reduce the fraction to lowest term. But in this case, or in this answer, it is already in lowest term. Because the numerator 7 and the denominator 10 do not have other common factor aside from 1. Now, I will show you the other method or other way of changing decimals into fraction. And this method is longer than the method that I used in changing decimals into fractions. That's why I prefer to use that method.